This is a Security Weekly production. Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in penetration testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. This episode of Hack Naked TV is brought to you by IT Pro TV. With IT Pro TV, you gain access to the most important tools needed to prepare you for IT certification. IT Pro TV has a thousand hours of up to date, high quality video content. Course topics include CCNP, CompTIA, Advanced Security Practitioner, Ethical Hacking, Cryptography, and more. You can stream their courses live and on demand to your Chromecast, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, PC, or mobile device. They have one low monthly subscription price, and you can cancel it anytime. Check out itpro.tv forward slash hacknaked to upgrade your brain with the most popular IT certifications. Use the code hacknaked30 for a free seven-day trial and save 30% off the life of your account. Welcome to another episode of Hack Naked TV, recorded today, April 28th, 2016. I'm your host, Aaron Lyons, and I'll be covering the cyber bombs, the next scan from Robert Graham, professional cyclists hacking their bikes, and more. So the Deputy Secretary of Defense, Robert Work, was recently quoted as describing a new campaign um, being undertaken by the U.S. Cyber Command as We're dropping cyber bombs. That's right, cyber bombs. So this new campaign is to disrupt the ability of the Islamic State to spread its message, attract new followers, circulate orders, and carry out day-to-day functions like paying its fighters and other administrative tasks. And yeah, this is being described as the guy, one of the guys in charge as we're dropping cyber bombs. What the hell is a cyber bomb? I don't even know what that is. Fictitiously, I've never even heard the term before, or technically, or in any way. These are the guys in charge, dropping cyber bombs. Give me a break. Speaking of cyber bombs, we might have one coming up. That's right, Robert Graham is starting another scan. This very well could be a cyber bomb, the definition of, because the last time he's made a, he did a scan, you would have thought the end was upon us. People were freaking out. He was triggering some IDS uh, alerts when he was doing his last scan, and people did not want know what to do with themselves. It's just a scan, folks. If you're connected to the internet, you're gonna be scanned. It's not an attack. This scan is gonna be connecting to all 65,535 TCP ports. That's right, every single one of them. It's gonna open a connection, wait a few seconds for a banner, And if it doesn't get a banner, it's going to send an SSL hello message. Not an attack. Just trying to make a connection and send maybe send a hello message. Not malicious. So this scan is going to be coming from the following IP range. 209.126.230.70 all the way through 209.126.230.78. So if you see some connections to all bunch of ports from this IP range, it's not malicious. Besides the point, it's just a scan, and scans aren't malicious. It's part of being on the internet. Someone drives by your house, they're not gonna rob the place. Moving on, we all recall the huge stories several years ago about cyclists using blood doping to cheap, even one of our very prominent U.S. cyclist was at the head of all those stories. Well, professional cyclists have moved on and they're hacking their bikes to conceal tiny battery-powered motors. These little motors are reported to only provide a 25-watt boost and cost between $11,000 and $28,000. That seems like a lot of money and a lot of risk to your professional career for just a tiny boost. But I suppose in a race like the Tour de France, that could make a huge difference. I'm not a professional cyclist, so what do I know? So the Verizon 2016 DBIR report is out. 
and you haven't downloaded it, you need to go do so. Every year, there's some great insights and some really good information in there. And it's well worth the read for any InfoSec professional. Go grab it. Give it a read. It's worth the time. To continue with the year of ransomware theme that we have here on Hack Naked TV this year, what would Hack Naked TV be if I didn't report on some new variant of ransomware or some other person, some new organization being hacked or subjected to ransomware? Well, this week we have a new variant, Crypt Triple X. Just found last week, does the regular things that ransomware does, or encrypts all your files and demands payment through Bitcoin. And one thing that's sort of interesting about this variant is that it's being spread by the popular Angler exploit kit. So I'm sure everyone knows about Angler. It's still out there. It's still going strong. And they're moving their, moving their uh, money-making schemes over to ransomware now. That's it for this episode of Hack Naked TV. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.